I think I just found a cheap way to make a DIY ultrasonic cleaner. Let me show you what I did. I've been experimenting a little bit. So this is just a cat food treat can and a piece of that extruded plastic. This is all hot glued together. And this is a piece of that extruded plastic you can get from like political signs and things like that. So it's free. A sanding disc that I used up. That's the Velcro attached type. And what I did is I hot glued that to the bottom. Then on my bench grinder, which is a piece of crap anyway, it's a Harbor Freight. It's like a five inch. You can't do anything. You can't grind a lawnmower blade. You can't do anything. There's just not enough RPM there. I took the wheels off of both sides. And then what I did is I attached a hose clamp and then just put the nut back on and tightened it up. Now on the bench grinder itself, I have a quarter inch piece of Luan or just a, a thin plywood. I have another piece of that extruded plastic. And this is just one of those maroon SOS pads. So the theory here was that this with the hose clamp and a nut would give it like a counterbalance. So you get some more vibration out of it. I've seen videos where people make them with five gallon buckets and they use um, like an old sander or something like that but they're pretty loud this is actually pretty quiet i'll show you how this works i just stick this on top well let me do it this way so you can see the parts in there those are just some rusty screwdriver bits and all i'm using is pine saw so we'll give this a whirl Now it's pretty quiet. It may sound loud in the phone, but this is actually, and look at the action. You can see the parts moving around. You can see the bubbles. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a try. Gonna let it run for about 20 minutes and we'll see what happens. You know who that guy is? If you don't, you should subscribe. That's Ricky Wallace, Wallace Knife Works and Homestead. Great guy, great channel. Go take a look at his channel. So it's been about 10 minutes. It's still going pretty strong. All right, we'll be back. I got to go back to watching my buddy. Some other projects that I got coming up, if you're interested, is I manufactured my own baking soda blaster booth out of a tub you can get at Walmart. These are just some four inch couplers for plumbing. This here is a cheap picture frame from Walmart. And I just took the backing off, kept the glass and the frame. Everything's once again hot glued together. So I gotta be very careful with this. On the top here, this is just that weather stripping for around the door, that foam stuff to help seal out some drafts. Inside what I did is I took my welding gloves and I hot glued them to the other side of the plumbing coupler. And then this is a 
cheap soda blaster. You can get these on Amazon for 13 bucks. Doesn't include the hose. I had the hose. And what I did is I ran the hose over here and ran a coupling, hot glued the coupling to pressure gauge. And I do, bear with me a minute. This is not the final build of it, but this video isn't about this. I'm going to do a separate video. This is a moisture evaporator. Keep any moisture out because I will be blasting with baking soda. And then on the back here, what I did is that is just another one of those maroon Scotch Bright pads. Just a PC fan out of an old computer. And to power it, I'm just going to use one of these 12 volt adapters. You plug it in your wall, and you have your ground and your hot. And that will just connect to the red and black wires of the PC fan. So there we go. Like I said, I'm going to do a more extensive video on the build. And we're going to give it a shot. One other thing I did is I made myself a miniature airbrush booth. This is just from, once again, the corrugated plastic. You can get these. These are actually not technically plastic, but these you get at Dollar Tree. They're, well, now a buck twenty-five a piece. Actually, I'm not done with this yet. I want to fashion a roof on here. And put some LED lights in there, like a light string. And that's just a standard filter. And I just made a base out of, this is just an old, I don't have this attached yet. For icicle lights, when you buy them, they come on a roll. This is just that plastic thing that I cut the bottom off of. And this is going to be an airbrush booth. So I still have to figure out some sort of ventilation for the back. Not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. But like I said, that's an upcoming video. And the reason I'm doing all this is because my Bubba coffee mug, if you can see, that black paint is coming off. And that spot there is where I scratched the paint off for my lips because I would drink my coffee and I'd have black specks on my lips. And it's paint. I don't know what kind of paint it is. so. I am going to baking soda blast this in the booth I made. See how it comes out. And that'll be a future video. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. What we'll do is we'll take this off and we'll see how they're looking. The reason I chose Pine Saw is because I did an old, I had an old motorcycle. It was a Kawasaki 750 LTD and it had four carburetors on it and they were all gunked up and needed to be rebuilt and I just didn't have the the money or the means or the knowledge to rebuild them at the time this is going back quite a few years so what I did is I had seen a video on using pine saw to clean metal parts so I got a tub and I got a couple gallons of pine saw and I got generic pine saw from the Dollar Tree and what I did is I put the carbs in there. I took them apart the best I could. I put the carbs in there and I soaked them for two or three days. And when I took them out, this is without any agitation, just soaking on their own. When I took them out, these carbs look like brand new. As a matter of fact, I just soaked my chainsaw carburetor. Um, this was sitting in there for about maybe. A week and you can see this this got extremely clean I didn't know I was gonna do a video on this and I wish I would have thought of it at the time I would have taken a before and after but this thing is almost like new and that's just soaking in Dollar Tree pine saw so let's take this out let's see what we got 
Okay, they're still still a little rusty. But I would imagine if I left this go for maybe an hour or so, they would look pretty good. And I'm only saying that because I know experience with pine saw and how well it works. People don't realize it, how good of a cleaner it actually is. So I will test this out with some different cleaners, some simple green. I'll try some degreasers, maybe some spray nine, uh, maybe just some Dawn and hot water. I'd like to be able to heat this. I think it's going to work a lot better. So as soon as I can figure that out, I have an idea. Maybe one of those coffee mug heaters that I like truck drivers use it on the road. You can put the you put this element, this heating element in your coffee mug, and what it will do is keep your coffee or your tea or whatever warm. So I believe I'm gonna try that. See what happens. So do some follow-up vids on this. Once again, I want to thank you for watching. Everyone take care and God bless.